Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a grocery haul and I'm covering four different stores, Walmart, Rio Canine Superstore, Food Basics, and No Frills. These sales are valid until so Wednesday, February 24th, end of day at the store closing time. <music> So this is everything that I got at No Frills and in total I spent $48.88. So starting over here I have ice. I actually got two packs of this. One is already in the freezer and they were $3.27 each. And then we'll go to fresh produce. So there was a lot of good sales at produce. The kale was a dollar each. Um, usually I get the bag kind but honestly it's a little bit more work just to destem them. Uh, kiwis were 50 cents each. Limes were 25 cents each so four for a dollar. I bought two dollars worth. Tomatoes were two dollars a pound. Oranges were, I think I price matched them for 68 cents a pound at Freshco. Then we have papaya, it was $1.67 a pound. We have broccoli, a dollar each. These pint-sized tomatoes or cherry tomatoes were $1.50 each. Romaine lettuce was $2 for a two-pack. However, the flip ad did say that it was a three-pack for $2, but I'm just assuming that it was a typo because this was advertised as a sale item for $2. Then over here we have spinach. These were $1.27 each. This is just random. So I got bugles, these were $2. And then um, my dad, Mr. Noodles, 25 cents each. So I think this was $5.25 worth. And then over here, this is just a frozen fish also for my dad. And these were I think $5.97. So in total at No Frills, it was $48.88. All right, this little section is everything that I got from Rio Canadian Superstore. I mainly went there because I had to do a return for some apparel that I bought, but altogether this was $43.59 and I also used $10 worth of PC points, so it was actually $33.59, so that's always a win. Okay, so starting with the eggs. Eggs have gone up. It is now $3 for a pack of 12. Um, lately, when there's a pack of 30 on sale for like $5.88, we've been getting those. But $3 is ridiculous. I remember when I first started grocery shopping like this, it was $2, so a dollar over the last maybe three years, it has increased. Then we have Delicio Pizza. This was $2.97, and one of those things that we have for like a quick, easy meal when we're lazy, but it's cheaper than takeout. And then over here we have blueberries. So this is a bigger container. It's about 18 ounces, and the total cost was $6. And then usually um, we have the blueberries with Greek yogurt. So this I price match with Freshco. It was $4 at Freshco. And then I think Rio Canadian Superstore had a coupon. If you buy two, you get $1 off. So this was actually $3.50 a piece instead of $4. And then over here we have palm olive dish soap. This was $1.98. Just bought two of these to keep in the pantry. And then over here, this was listed at $14.97 on the flyer. And then in person, it basically says you need to have a coupon, but they automatically apply the coupon when you check out. So that was a bit confusing, but this was $17.98 listed and then it was actually $14.98. So $3 off for this. So that was everything at Rio Canadian Superstore. And the total again was technically $33.59. Okay, and this is everything that we got from Walmart and altogether we spent $81.17. Um, so starting over here, we have Bounty Paper Towel. This was for $21.97. And then we got some compost liners in two packs of the small size and that was $4.97 each for 20 pack. And then we got one pack of the bigger size and that was $5.97. Then over here, we have Bounce Dryer Sheets. So this was the biggest size they have, which I think is 200 sheets, no scent. And this was for $9.97. And over here we have um, pasta. So there's different kinds on sale. This brand was 87 cents for a pack. Black diamond cheese, I always get the light kind. Um, it's I think 30 calories per slice. So this was also $1.97. Then over here we have um, frozen mackerel. This was four, no sorry, this is frozen sardines and this was $4.57 for a pack. And then over here we have lactose free milk which was $5.47 each. And then we have drumstick minis. So it's like a six pack and they're only 110 calories each. Four grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs and two grams of protein. And this was on sale for $3.97. And then I got two packs of water, only one is pictured here, and they were $1.97 each. So that is everything at Walmart, and altogether we spent $81.17. Okay, last but not least, we have food basics. $32.49 is how much we spent here. And yes, I do go to multiple stores. Um, and usually, honestly, it's not that bad. It's just now I add recording and I have to do one at a time and put it all away. That makes it more challenging, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so starting over here, I wonder if this is a myth. So this is cleaning vinegar, and this was literally $3.27, whereas this is just regular no-name brand vinegar, and this was $1.97 each. So is this just a marketing scam, or is there something special about this that makes it 
better. I guess it says double strength, but it's like one of those things that say high protein, but it's literally like 12 grams of protein. I don't know. Someone tell me if this is a marketing scam or what, but my dad asked for this. This was $1.97. This was $3.27. Over here, we have Triscuits. These were on sale for $1.67 each. They're pretty clean. I think they're like three ingredients. Um, whole grain wheat, vegetable oil, some sea salt. Whoops. And then over here, um, we need onions. Onions aren't really on sale, but a 10-pound bag of yellow onions was, I think, $4.88 at uh, Food Basics. And usually if it's if we're paying basically full price and red onions is only a dollar more we usually go for red onions because it's kind of like you're already paying a premium price pay a little bit more and get the nicer kind if that makes sense and then over here we have strawberries these were 250 it was um technically two for five but food basics you don't need to buy two things to make that deal happen at least not for that one and then over here we have tomatoes these were also two dollars a pound technically dollar 97 i usually buy it at both stores like no frills i bought it at and i also bought it here it's because sometimes i don't know how the quality is and so i just instead of taking a risk i just do 50 50 at each store and then over here <clears throat> um we have avocados this bag was 288 and then this was supposed to be an assorted pack of peppers it was on the flyer um but it was only the red kind that was available and it was 297 still a good deal but someone in the store was complaining about that and then over here we have green cabbage 88 cents a pound and then last but not least we have some bananas these are 59 cents a pound usually i do like to get them a little ripe because i like it super sweet when i eat it with oatmeal or for my smoothies so that is everything we spent today grocery haul shopping for five people so here's my conclusion so obviously on thursdays they have new sales that happen but i don't think it necessarily means that they're getting a shipment of new products on thursday in itself i feel like you know tuesday wednesday they get new shipment and then thursday new flyers come into effect so that's why I find that after the weekend, if for some reason you don't happen to get to the store Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, usually I like to go on Tuesday, usually in the afternoon and the evening because I find that the stores are restocking for the new sales that are coming and putting out new inventory of the things that were on sale and maybe sold out. But again, you run into the risk of not finding certain things that are like really good deals. For example, I couldn't find the stuff at No Frills. But in most circumstances, you can always price match or go like Wednesday night and you can find it. But I just try my best to find what I can when I can. And if I can't find it, either I'll pay a more expensive price for it or I won't buy it this time when we're grocery shopping or I go back to the store at a later time. So I hope you like these tips. I know I haven't been posting much other content other than these grocery hauls, but I promise it's coming. I just have a mental block sometimes and I need to work on that. There are a lot of videos that are in progress. I just need to finish it and get it out. The grocery hauls take me like 10 seconds once I record to just quickly put it together and upload. So hopefully you understand and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Bye.